Virgo, hello, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives us practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit that truly help all of us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. But without further ado, let's dive right in, Virgo. And let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Thank you. That was just a little cute little star card that just flopped out there. Just the universe letting you know, don't you worry about a thing, Virgo. The worst is behind you. Remember, now is the time to only look forward. We can only look back to see how far we've come to give ourselves congratulations. Pat on the back. I can see that you're coming from a pretty um, uh, tumultuous time. Does that make sense? Spirit. Is tumultuous the right word? <laughs> I'm going to go with it. It does look like it's time where, you know, you want to take some space for yourself. You just, are you feeling a little bit burnt out, a little bit worn out, Virgo? You know, maybe just been going extra hard, just really trying to get your, you know, your, your desires to, you know, come to fruition, just really going for it. Know that truly when we when we, it, it, there's nothing better than honestly just taking some time out. You know what I mean? Getting out in nature, taking a nap under a tree, you know, meditating, grabbing a book, sitting at the park, but taking space for yourself, preferably out in nature, is so rewarding for us empaths in particular. You know, the programs here really instill us to go, 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 try, 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 extra, extra, extra. The more you give, you know, the, the more energy you give, you know, you're going to build. And yes, to a degree, but when we, get worn out you know what I mean we we when we get taxed and worn out we sort of hit this this breaking point this rock bottom moment and I can see it's being clarified there by the ten of swords and so you know sometimes this rock bottom moment though is exactly what we need you ever notice that where you hit that moment where you're just like I am done and then you realize you can't do what you're doing anymore and you switch things up and you know, humans learn through pain and suffering. A lot of the times we dig our holes so big that we're at the very bottom looking up and we're thinking like, okay, there's gotta be a better way, right? There's gotta be a better way. So understand that this might just be the energy for you right now, Virgo, and this is the universe validating that. Take some time out, right? Just take some time out for yourself. There's nothing more rewarding than taking some time out, especially if you've been engaging in any kind of trauma or trauma, drama or conflict, you know, because um, that's very taxing on our energy when we're in any type of drama. And recognize your life. If you have drama in your life, it, it's, it, there's always a level of attraction there somewhere, right? So be mindful of that, right? And if our life feels a little chaotic, it might be because we're feeling a little chaotic on the inside. And so that is why spirit is really pressing this, uh, this agenda of taking time out for yourself and ultimately know that you have all of the wisdom and answers you require. As empaths, we're all old souls. We've all done this rodeo many times, right? Thousands of years, mo most of us. And so imagine and accessing the wisdom of thousands of years like hello sign me up right and so we can do that we can do that and I'll tell you something the more time you spend out in nature the the stronger that access point grows because you're more in tune with your intuition and your psychic abilities grow stronger and 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 it's not about being out in nature and feeling like you should be doing something, right? This was always my mistake. Well, I'm, in, I'm out here in nature. I, I should read a book or I should, you know, um, do some studies or I should learn something. You know, I should be listening to a podcast, you know, and you want to be mindful that sometimes you just want to be out in nature and simply just be in nature. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you have to do anything. Again, whenever there's an energy of I sh should do this, not the right energy, right? Okay. Sorry, that was the Six of Wands, and I just had to grab it because it was way too juicy to not. So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Justice card, and then that Six of Wands there. So when you go within and you just take some time out and you clear your head and you clear your space, you're going to get this new profound sense of clarity of what needs to happen next. At that point, you're going to release any control that you may have had, and you're going to just, again, release that energy, right? So you've released the control, and you're going to feel so much more elated because you're going to have released that resistance when you release that resistance 
You allow the opportunities to come into your life. And I can see that with the page of cups, right? And these opportunities are going to bring you a lot of abundance. And I can see that with the king of pentacles. So it's going to be a very fortunate time for you, Virgo. So just know that that rock bottom minute or that energy that you're facing right now, where you're feeling completely in despair or just worn out, whatever it may be for you in your life, know that good will come from this. It always does. Utilize this opportunity of hitting the rock bottom moment to take that space for yourself, regain your sense of, you know, you, right? Re, 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 re up your energy and understand that when that happens, then you're going to get that clarity. And then that's again, when the energy is going to get moving forward and everything is going to work out because you've had your rock bottom moment and spirit always gives us what we're ready for. And spirit sometimes, most of the time, leads us to our rock bottom moments so that we can switch things up. And it's funny because as we go on our, you know, on our way, then we go over here, learn all these lessons, hit this rock bottom moment, jump, get back on path. But we've learned all this experience and now we're back on path with all this knowledge and away we go. And I feel like this is kind of the energy that happened here for you, Virgo. You're on your path. Everything was going great. All of a sudden, Oh, veer it off, learned a bunch of lessons, woohoo, and then jump back on path now. And then this is what's going to happen. So just understand that it's all part of the journey. And in the meantime, ooh, 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 what do we got here with armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. In the meantime, understand that energetically, the universe can only give you what you are ready for. So if you want more, but you're on an, in an energy of feeling exhausted and depleted, but you're just like, I want more for my life. I want this outcome. I want this to happen, but I'm so tired. Know that the universe won't give it, won't be able to give it to you because energetically you're exhausted. So that's why the universe is saying, go take some time out Virgo so that we can give you what you want. You see what I'm saying? So set those boundaries for yourself. Energetically, it's super important as empaths get that because it's all energy here, right? It's all energy. It's like if you wanted to have, um, you know, love enter your life, but you work, you know, 13 hours a day and then you come home and you, you hang out with your pets and then you go to sleep and then you do the same thing all over again. There's not really much room energetically for a relationship. You see what I mean? So you got to make that space, got to take that time out. All right. And so here we have elephant spirit learn from the past. So learn from your past, uh, you know, learn from the past, learn from those 10 of swords moments, right? Universe is bringing awareness to you having awareness on what happened exactly and how can we avoid that for the future, right? Learn from your experiences so that you can avoid them in the future. Because that's what this game of life is all about. It's always learning and observing and everything you do in a day instead of being in it be more on the outside of it observing it oh i see I, I i said this thing to this person and this person reacted like this where did i come where did that where why did i you know set that reaction tone oh i ate these foods and it made me feel like this what happened there what did i eat you know what i mean i wore these clothes and i didn't feel myself and then it made me act like this hmm that's interesting so i can't wear this color or i shouldn't you know what i mean really be be really observing everything you do because as an empath understand Everything has energy, right? I feel my best when I wear black clothes. I love black and, and green's good too, but I really like black. I'm, I'm usually in black if I'm not uh, filming. So, you know what I mean? I've worn colors before and I just don't feel myself. So be mindful of that. Everything has energy. So food for thought. Here we also have koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Understand that no matter where you are in your life currently, if you are not where you want to be, the first step to getting to the next step is accepting where you are and being appreciative for it because appreciation always holds the energy of, of, of abundance, right? Because when we're appreciative, the energy flows. When we're, um, not appreciative or when we're, you know, feeling lackluster, feeling, uh, you know, um, um, scarce at all, or, or like, you know, we're not abundant, energy closes off, right? So we close off our, our um, desires and manifestations from flowing to us. When we're appreciative, they are flowing, right? They're flowing. So no matter what, we always want to come from an energy of feeling appreciative. And I know that this is tough to do sometimes, Virgo, I hear you. But listen, at the end of the day, a lot of the times why we're not feeling appreciative, right? Because it's just not in our nature to not feel appreciative. We're empaths. We're always happy. And if we're not, 
most often than not, it is because we are energetically depleted, right? And that also can come in the form of feeling ungrounded, which means we've absorbed too much energy. So it's very interesting. It can go both ways. You maybe you're giving too much energy away and then you're feeling tired and exhausted and drained, or you've absorbed too much energy from the busy stimulants of life, right? You know, cars, businesses, cell phones, people, and you're not clearing your energy. So it's funny because in both scenarios, you get out in nature and you take some time and spend some time with yourself in nature. So it's like a win-win, woohoo, right? And that's what Moss Spirit is saying. Surrender to the busyness of your life right now. You will not get the results you're looking for unless you slow things down and go and take some time by yourself so that you can regain clarity. Again, this is that, that reminder, Virgo, that we build our intuition off of feeling grounded and being in nature is that best, best easiest way to do so. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Virgo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.